Today I will show you how you can fix the problem with the black screen in OBS Studio when you try the display capture function. Hey and welcome back to my channel, I'm Daniel and I'm a daily vlogger and the whole series here is to show you the process of how I build my business. For the last one and a half years I was traveling around the world and I was living three years in my self-converted campervan and I make my money with my two blogs and my main YouTube channel. You should definitely check out my main YouTube channel. <laughs> if you're into that, consider subscribing to my channel because there will be massive of value content in the future. Every time when we have a problem and we create a solution, we actually create another problem that needs another solution and the world is built like that. Before we had laundries and wash machines, we were doing everything by hand. It took us a lot of time, energy, and so we had this problem of how can we do this faster. So we created wash machines and laundries to speed up the process. But now we have new problems. Those wash machines, they can break down, they can have failures, problems, efficiency, economy friendly, all those kind of things they create new problems where we can then create new solutions you get the point and that's the same reason why OBS studio is not working like it's supposed to be because the newer laptops have two graphic cards inside the Nvidia GeForce and the integrated Intel graphics that's a laptop how can you be more efficient with the battery even if you have a powerful machine with a GeForce graphic cards inside every time you use a program that is not graphic intense your machine is basically switching back to the integrated graphic cards and OBS studio doesn't understand that he doesn't know in which case you're using which graphic cards and that's why you get a black screen. You have to tell OBS which graphic cards to use. But I will give you a couple of solutions so let's jump into my laptop. In OBS Studio when we use the display capture function and you get a black screen what is the solutions that you can do? Sometimes the easiest way to fix is right click and then go to transform and do fit to screen. You see the red line outline but in my case that was not a problem. So the easiest way is right click on your OBS Studio and we'll see an option run with graphics processor and now you have two options. You can either use the high performance Nvidia processor or the integrated graphics card and basically what it says is you change which graphic cards you want to use for that program and in my case even high performance wasn't working and also the integrated graphic cards wasn't working but maybe in your case it's already working with that the solution that worked on my machine go to Windows right click on Windows choose system and then search for graphic settings and under graphic settings you will you can choose a classic app and then search for OBS Studio. Normally when you install OBS, it's under Program Files and OBS Studio and then the 46 bin and this is the application. You open that and now under Options, you can change which graphic cards you should use, power saving or high performance. In my case, it's power saving. So when I go back to OBS Studio, everything works fine. That was the solution in my case. Sometimes you have to combine this solution with the next solution. You do right click on the desktop and you go to the Nvidia control panel. Inside of the Nvidia control panel, you can go to manage 3D settings and you have another option for the different graphic cards. We search for OBS Studio and in OBS Studio, you have now two options to use like high performance or integ integrated graphics. Be aware, every time when you want to record a game, it's using the graphic cards from Nvidia or your AMD graphics. So you have to change to the G GPU, the high performance GPU. And every time you want to record just your desktop, you have to switch to the integrated graphics card. In my case, I didn't have to change that here. It was all fine. It was working. Third solution that I found, right click on OBS Studio and then go to properties, open location. You can right click on the OBS 64 and you can go to the compatibilities. You can choose Windows 7 and run as administrator and then apply and hit OK. And maybe this is already working for you to solve the problem. So there you go, there's a couple of solutions how you can actually fix the black screen in OBS Studio. Hey Daniel, how did you record it, your screen when OBS wasn't working? <laughs> I found another program that is also good. This is Flashback Player, it's also for free. It has two options, a pro version and the free version. But to just screen capture, I could use the free option. I hope you liked this video, it was helpful. Then hit the like button and subscribe to my channel because there will be so much more massive content for you because you are awesome. I'm Daniel, see you tomorrow.